five, four, three, two, one. It was a moment years in the making, and all over in the blink of an eye. Oh a NASA rocket fired from a remote Arnhem Land spaceport and a piece of history forged. Nothing like I've ever heard, and it's just, I just shook with amazement. And it was so wonderful to see. It was fantastic, so good to see it finally happen and I can't believe how much it lit up the sky, it exceeded my expectations. Australia's first ever commercial rocket launch nearly looked like it was going to be derailed last night after unseasonal wind and bursts of rain delayed the launch by more than an hour until midnight. But NASA wasn't to be deterred and with a rumble like thunder and an explosion of light, up it went into the sky. The launch that ended up putting uh, people on the moon in 1969 is where we first started working with Australia in, in space, and that relationship has continued ever since then. Um, and so this is just one more step, in, I think, in that journey. The rocket's successful takeoff also marked the end of a long road for the company running the spaceport, which formed as a startup with little capital seven years earlier. Equatorial Launch Australia says it holds hope tonight's historic launch will be just the first of many launches to happen out here at the Arnhem Space Centre. It's just a fantastic achievement and, and sets us up really well for the future. Whatever the future holds, NASA scientists say they remain focused on the job at hand, with two more rockets to be blasted skyward from the remote NT before the end of July. Matt Garrick, ABC News, Bullenboy.